we try, try to quantify the happiness of people as a kind of um, index of the productivity of the knowledge workers. And of course, the happiness itself is very important for each individual. But also, as a team or as a company, happy, happy people shows better result in business. With your smartphone, you have an accelerometer inside. That sensor allows us to capture the very tiny physical motion, very hidden signal in the start moving to stop moving that duration, whether that duration is diversified from short to long, is highly correlated with the happiness of people. Very unconscious motion, so it cannot be controlled, but very objective measure for your happiness. And uh, it is quite useful for the AI era because with good purpose, AI can work better advice, better intervention for you to be happier. In call center, uh, we provide daily advice for the supervisor who you talk today from uh, past data. And actually, it shows 27% better productivity. In Hitachi, um, business to business, business sales employees uh, utilize our technology for several months. And those teams who uh, utilize that advice system better get happier next month. And the people who get happier have shown better sales uh, performance by about 30% in the next quarter. So happiness quite matters on your business performance. Conventionally, we standardized our work to make work more productive and predictive. That was quite good to deliver standardized products and service to all over the country. But now everybody has different needs and changing needs. So just a standardized thing is not make value. AI and data allows us to be flexible depending on the situation. But without doing something new, there's no data from the first. Conventionally, we rely on standardization and deployment, but now we need experiment and learn. So we face uncertainty. Something we have already done is only a part of the total world. So we need new unexplored world. That is systematically explored by the assistant, help of the new technology called AI and data. In that way, we can face very seriously and effectively the uncertain and much more opportunity in a very effective way. So the workplace and company decisions or everyday you know, business uh, will be much more creative and innovative based on this data. But depending on whether you utilize the technology is only totally up to you. The company who is making action is getting results. AI is not a um, re replacement of human labor. And actually, it is a very systematic way of solving problems, especially complex sol problems. Simple problems we have standardized and make it small chunks of the process and to you know make manual and to let newcomer to know how to do it. That was what we have done in the last century. To create more value and more creative, we need to um, have new weapon or new tool to be creative. That's I believe is the AI and data. Everybody on this planet can be much more creative. And depending on the situation, depending on your strengths, we can be more diversified. The business can be diversified and create more value. And uh, Charles Darwin said, evolution is not the progress. 
evolution is diversification of the descendants. So um, we can be much more flexible, and diversified, and much more creative. Clearly, we should depend on less data. Many of the AI applications right now depends on very heavy data. So those problems, which has massive data, can be applied. But many of the useful problems, the data is much more limited. But the future AI relies on those reliance on the data will be reduced. That means the AI and us, we will be much more smarter. We know more with less information. That's smart means.